what's up? Here we are in Judah Day International on a Saturday afternoon, Flurry Naples. Let's see what the, what the hype is about. Let's see why it's a famous beach. What's going on over here? Hello and welcome to another video of Brazil. I've made several videos about Florianopolis and Rio de Janeiro, so check out my channel for details about those, but this one is going to compare the two and how it is staying there as a digital nomad. I'm going to discuss the geography, the infrastructure, apartment rentals, the prices, the local vibe, the beaches, and the parties. So here we go. Florianopolis is in the south of Brazil, so it has different terrain than Rio de Janeiro. There are a lot more mountains in Rio de Janeiro, but Florianopolis still has a few. Although, as you can see, most of the land there is flat and it's more plain. There are differences in the types of beaches, but you'll mostly see just boulders, rocks, sand. You don't see those beautiful sights like Sugarloaf, the Christ statue, Dos Irmãos mountains that are huge. But Florianopolis has some sand dunes, which is unique and you can't find sand dunes in Rio. All right, let's talk about the infrastructure. Since Rio is an old city, it used to be the capital. It is outdated as far as the buildings and they're old. So in Florianopolis, you have much newer buildings and faster internet electricity works better you may still experience power outages but generally by the looks of these buildings it's newer especially if you go downtown center center of florianopolis is much nicer and cleaner than rio's downtown center but you do still have some of the village like areas so this is about normal traffic and uh get worse like Baja de la Goa, the Goa de Conceição and those are the cheaper areas to live in. For transportation you have some buses but actually the transportation in Rio is better because it has the metro and the public buses run more often more frequently there are more of them. I don't see many buses in Florinopolis. Here's a shop that looks like a Kinko's where you can print and pay for the internet so this is a good spot it is located in Canas Various. If you compare different neighborhoods in Florianopolis, you have Lagoa de Conceição, which is probably least expensive, Canas Verias, which is still affordable, and you have Jurare, which is the luxury place, luxury part of the island with boats, jet skiing, and the wealthiest Brazilians. In Rio, you have the less expensive area Copacabana, the above average area called Ipanema, and then the wealthy area called Leblon. So far, this place has lots of stuff. You got any, almost anything, yeah, gyms, grocery stores, uh, restaurants, touristic stuff, touristic stores, souvenir stores. So surprisingly, the gyms in Florianopolis seemed worse, older than the gyms in Rio de Janeiro. That was quite a surprise. I only saw gyms in Canas Verias and Baja de la Goa. Here's a gym tour. There you go. I guess this is the Academia, right? And... Academia? Academia? Uh -huh. I found two gyms. One is 100 highs, the other one's 85 highs for a month. Anything less is like still kind of expensive or 30 highs per day. Hello, good night. Oi, tudo bom? Tudo bom. Quanto basta? Quanto valor? Tá, vamos lá então. Academia, very good também. Academia, very, very, very. Você é aprendendo rápido. Oh, muito. Oh, aluna boa. Voltamos às 15 horas e depois tocamos direto até às 22. Ok, sábado. Horário, isso, menos. Domingo fechado. Domingo fechado. Muito boa academia. Todos os equipamentos, tudo. Very good. Local vibe and atmosphere. 
So this is the difference between the two areas. In Florianopolis, it's less diverse because most of the people from South of Brazil have European ancestry and they're gonna be more white in appearance and you have less mixed Brazilians than you do in Rio. And since Rio has the number one tourist destination of South America, it gets very, very diverse. You can find all types of Brazilians there. It depends on you and where you fit better. With Rio, you have a lot more diversity. The vibe is more wild, whereas Florianopolis, it's a little more chill and you have less diversity. Florianopolis has Argentinians, many of them, especially in Canas Verias and I also saw some other parts, but that is a big difference. The apartment prices are very affordable in Canas Verias, where I found a place apartment that was around 60 reals that included a kitchen and the bathroom and it was private and that was during a low season so you can expect to pay around $12 a night whereas Rio that's gonna get you a bunk bed rental and massages so it's like small businesses here too this is the apartment another posada in Canas Verias it's low season, so she wants 60 reals. That's cheap. It's just a little more than hostel. Come on. Ah, see. Sí. So the prices are lower for apartments in Florianopolis. The food too. I like buffets. Rio has buffets and Florianopolis has buffets too. But I saw more lunch buffets in Florianopolis. The buffets are cheaper too. About. 25 to 30 reels for a buffet that includes meat, the barbecue, the chuhasco, and the hours are open from lunch to dinner in most of the places I've seen in Florianopolis. Okay. Now let's talk about the beaches and parties. When it comes to activities, Florianopolis has some beaches that are spread apart. So when you get around, you have to either decide to live in one of the neighborhoods that has a small beach, or you're gonna have to drive to another beach for another area. So you're gonna need more time to plan your activities. Also, I saw less courts for volleyball in Florianopolis than I did in Rio. For example, in Baja de la Goa, I saw this one volleyball court and Canas Viarias on the beach. I saw one volleyball court Although Canas Verdes Beach is quite lengthy, you can walk the entire beach and it will take you probably an hour or longer. Florianopolis doesn't have many tours, they don't, doesn't seem as adventurous. I just saw a bunch of boat tours and like a pirate ship tour. Honestly, it didn't look too exciting, I didn't hear any people bragging about it. Whereas in Rio de Janeiro, you have a lot more activities including paragliding. Rio is slightly more fun, but in Florianopolis, it's a little more relaxed, more calm, so you might be able to get to work done. Rio de Janeiro can get crazy, so you might forget about work. Most of the Airbnbs I stayed had internet of 15 to 20 megabits a second for download and that was when it was working. Rio de Janeiro for parties is gonna win for sure. Even during a, a pandemic, Babylon and downtown has open parties. Whereas in Florianopolis, parties, there are less of them. You have to stick to your neighborhood or you have to drive to another neighborhood. Canas Verias, there's only two or three bars that have dancing. They usually have Argentinian music. Baja de la Goa is also a place that has uh, only like one or two bars. But most people would go to La Goa de Conceição to party. Most of the advertised parties are there and it's in that, it's not, they don't even have a beach, it's just a lagoon, but it's less expensive and most of the crowds hang out there for the party scene. And as a bonus, Florianopolis is much safer than Rio. You can be almost carefree in the day and night, you can go and hang out and usually you won't see any trouble. Whereas Rio, it's quite the opposite, you have to be really careful. So in conclusion, 
if you want good stable infrastructure fast internet go to florianopolis if you don't want to get any work done if you prefer more fun more sexy beaches that are more condensed then you go to rio but you're gonna definitely pay more and have to deal with other issues but florianopolis that's a safe bet you'll still have some fun you'll have beautiful views beautiful beaches well that's all i can think of be sure to check out my other videos about florianopolis and rio de janeiro for living there abroad.